everybody welcome back so I don't know I think that that so far is gonna be like one done edited project with uh, it's not done yet thing and here's why today I'm tackling this area here so um, there's soda on the floor this is a cabinet that used to have like it has extra spices all on the top and the bottom used to be like extra snack stuff um a couple of things jim really wants to have less snacks but he keeps buying them so i'm just saying if we can wrangle our snacks that'd be better i'm i'm a, i'm calling a spade a spade we're gonna have snacks let's just fix them um the air there are two specific areas in the closet that these things will go um, in the pantry that these things will go I will tell you, and I don't know if it, if you know this already because I don't know how I'm editing all of this, but uh, I'm looking into putting in another shelf because the way things are spaced, I have room for another shelf on those brackets. Um, none of my stuff weighs, like the brackets, the three brackets will hold a thousand pounds, but we're nowhere near. I mean, the heaviest things are cans and they're only, you know what I mean? So it's not even like close. I'm nowhere near. Let's put it that way. So um, I can afford, the weight-wise, I can afford another shelf as well. Instead of each, how about this? Instead of each shelf carrying 250 pounds, they'll each carry 200 pounds. I don't have 200 pounds worth of groceries. <laughs> Probably in, to in total. Anyhow, reel it in, Jer. Reel it in. Um, what I'm going to do is I have all of these, like, Dollar Tree-type basket bags that I want to put all the snacks in. They're down here on the floor. Jim and I are going to sit and go through everything. Um, and then we're gonna um, decide what we're keeping, what we wanna put where and such. But I have, like I said, I have specific spots in there already that I wanna put the snacks. Um, <clears throat> also, some of the stuff is not just like snacks. He's got like breakfast foods. So um, we're gonna have like them on the breakfast shelf, but like in an organized situation. You know, we have like, he likes snack cake for breakfast and pop tarts, which I'm not crazy about him having, but he's, you know, he works hard. Let him have what he wants to a certain extent before I yell at him and berate him. Just saying. I'm kidding. <laughs> so that's, of course, going to go on the cereal shelf oatmeal. Hi. There he is. And I would like to eventually, <laughs> I would like to eventually make this the, uh, the coffee bar and free up some counter space. The thing is, um, the cabinet itself isn't very deep and there is quite a clearance between the cabinet top and the doors so I think I can afford to put on a little bit of a longer countertop the cabinets to the next left of them are white with black tops and this is just solid black so I'm thinking about a white top I don't know that's just my thought if I can find one if I can make one cheap if I can find one cheaper you know how it goes you know how it goes right um, I actually was like, oh, I have all those wood. Can I make it? I, I might even, who knows, like make it look like butcher block. I don't even know. I don't think that would really go in the kitchen. If I did make it out of wood, I would probably just paint it white though. So yeah, that's where we're at. I, I'm just really tired of living in the chaos of this all. So, um, let's get crack it lacking if I could put it so bluntly. Well, I will tell you that I'm super glad that I did buy all of these storage bins in the gray and red and black while I had the opportunity, since those are my kitchen colors and my house colors. Let's just call it spade a spade. Um, <laughs> but um, what we decided to do, and of course it took a little like, you know, hey mom, can we move the soda, um, was to put all of the soda in the closet. We l tried to leave everything convenient for her. Um, like her food shelf and you'll see when I do show you the walkthrough at the end um, her food shelf is just like almost her high, her eye level um, just below her eye level and her soda is in the front on the left so that she doesn't have to um, reach in reach around too too much um, also what we did and I and I realize now that I didn't actually mention we have two wire baskets that hang on the bottom shelf that we had before when the bottom shelf used to be at the very top um, and what I did was she likes to buy a 16 ounce like a six packs of 16 ounce sodas so that she could take them 
when we go a day trip somewhere, basically for a car ride, or to a restaurant that doesn't serve Coca-Cola. They only serve Pepsi products. Um, and then she also keeps some Diet 7 up on hand in case she has an irritation in her stomach. So what we decided to do on those two hanging baskets was put her um, 16 ounce Cokes in one and then put her 16 ounce Diet 7 ups in the other. Um, this way she can access them easily without, ha like again, without having to dig around in the closet looking for her things. So I took one of the white baskets from the Dollar Tree that sort of they have all the time. It, it sort of looks like a mini rectangular laundry basket. And we put all of Jim's flavored waters in there, the bottled ones that are not carbonated. Um, and originally we tried to put all of the sparkling water in the little cubies um, on this side, close to Mom's soda. But then I realized, I told him, I was like, you drink more of the uncarbonated water um, than you do the carbonated water so why don't you put that closer to the front of the closet but just like when we did our first portion you can only plan so much until you actually get in the space um, like right now he wanted to do three rows of soda and I was like well just do two so she doesn't have to bend over and dig in um, and he's like well I don't know if the door will be in the way so that's why he was testing the rack on the door and it's fine it clears it fine um, so just now we're deciding like, oh, what to do with these little biscuits, baskets up top. And um, yeah, and then we decided to like rearrange everything. We had one of these little locker bins that had uh, drinks. When Aunt Sue comes, she likes Diet Coke and cranberry juice. So we like to keep a little bit on hand for when she comes for a visit. Um, we don't have to worry about not having anything that she likes to drink. So that's not something that needs to be in the front of the closet. So what we ended up doing was moving her little uh, basket that we put her drinks in over towards the back by the extra flour and extra sugar. And then Jim rearranged it so that he lined up his basket of water, mom soda, his basket of water, the sparkling waters. Um, and then we had um, more room for other things, the snack basket that we ended up putting down there and such. Now, as far as the breakfast is concerned, and I'll show you the four bre breakfast baskets that we end up using um, for breakfast foods, we ended up using these mini, they're not really rectangles, they're almost square, but they have to be rectangles. Um, the ones that turn, stack sideways um, back and forth. Um, two of them stacked on top of each other fit perfectly on that height with the cereal, and um, it's perfect. One's got like, Jim just brought donuts, one's got his Pop-Tarts, one has cereal bars in it. Um, one has some other breakfast that I cannot think of at this very moment, so I apologize. But basically all four of them are just like breakfast foods. Um, <laughs> then I was trying to figure out what to do with the oatmeal. So I was back and forth about, I normally have the oatmeal on this metal wiry shelf that used to sit on that black cabinet. Um, but then I was like, you know what? Oatmeal can go in the closet now. It doesn't have to be out. I don't want any food out anymore. And I will tell you a secret because he won't watch this video. He has eaten so many less snacks since we have done that to the closet because he really is an out of sight, out of mind kind of snacker. Um, it's also helped me as too because I just don't see them when I'm bored. Like if I'm bored, I just won't see them and go take something of whatever. I have to consciously think about it. When I get to the closet and I consciously think of like, ooh, do I want like some sugar-free cookies? And I'll be like, no, you know what? There is a better alternative or something. Or if I'll see cookies, then I'll see the sugar-free cookies or something along those lines, if you know what I mean. Okay. So we were back and forth. As you could see, I'm emptying, taking things out. I ended up moving these baskets to the table later and I didn't film it because what we thought were going to work with the chips, like I said, the four round baskets did not fit across that top shelf with the ramen. Eventually they will, but now they don't because the ramen is up there. And again, this is like a temporarily, uh, this is a permanent, permanently temporary situation because it's going to last us for a little bit until I can actually get the shelf and then we can get the project, the rest of the project done. So I ended up taking that over to the counter and I was trying all the different basket configurations. So basically, I have these oval baskets. They'll fit up there with the round ones, but they don't hold enough chips. So they're useless. 
you know, that kind of situation. So we ended up making it where we have two baskets full of unopened chips, one basket of open chips, um, one basket of like uh, uh, the two, okay, sorry, two round baskets with holes, one round basket without holes, and then the one square rectangular wiry basket that has the cookies in it. And then uh, the sugar-free cookies are down below behind the shortbread cookies that Jimmy got from um, the UK from um, Liz. Hi, Liz. Thank you for the cookies. I'm sorry. I just blanked on your name. <laughs> um, but we put them in an airtight container so that they'll last. And um, then the Pizzell cookies from Aldi, which we also have, um, that are really um like individual they're packaged in like six cookies per thing so anyway um this is me getting in the closet and the reason that I had Jimmy do most of this stuff and work in the closet is because you can kind of see past him I don't think you can kind of see past me um so I'm going to show you the finished product here in the end so I just wanted to jump on here to give you a final walkthrough of what we have so far. Final? So far? Okay. So I say final for now because we are going to get one additional shelf, which will break up like, as you can see, this shelf here has room for it to come down. And actually this one too, because these tall bottles are the only thing that's like tall on this whole shelf. Um, so this shelf can come down one notch. This one can come down two notches. This one can go up one notch. <laughs> now we've created room for another shelf. Um, but it looks like I'm going to get a 12 inch shelf. So we're probably going to put 12 inches up there and move the rest down, sandwich them a little bit. Okay. So here's what we have so far. And I'm sorry, it's dark in the corner because we haven't gotten the light yet. As you can see, I have an outlet here. Here's what we have. Ramen, <laughs> open snacks, closed snacks. These are like bags of chips and sweet. There's one bag that has, there's one basket that has the sweeter snacks like cookies and one that has the chips. Over here, we also have cookies in containers and that's the sugar-free cookies. Two baskets in the front, two baskets in the back are all, um, sorry, are breakfast foods, like breakfast bars, donuts, Jimmy's donuts are in here, his pop tarts. Then we've got cereal, oatmeal, uh, like regular quick oats that you make regular oatmeal. These are packets oatmeal. Then we have canned food. This is like tuna, peanut butter. It's like prepared, already done food. Then we have cans of chili. Nope, this isn't chili. That's hash and beans. Then we've got chili, Chef Boyardee. And then we have canned vegetables, canned fruit. Actually, two cans of canned vegetables, canned fruit, and then canned beans. Down here is a basket of vinegars. Then sauces, two baskets of sauces, two baskets of condiments, and then really three baskets of condiments. This is really sauces and sauces and condiments. And then back there, which the camera will adjust, are the Progressos and Campbell soups, and then the boxed um, broth that we have. Now I will be honest with you, because I love to be honest with you guys. Um, the screw that Jim put in <laughs> fell out. Um, not that I blame Jim, but the one that one is on the right hand side um, fell out. So this is just like dangling, but he said he wants to put in mollies and better screws. So, but otherwise that's working for us. Now the bottom shelf, if you remember, is our flour and sugar. These are lock and lock canisters that mom got before I moved in from QVC. Powdered sugar, brown sugar, sorry, powdered sugar, brown sugar syrups baking behind the syrups is like the splenda and splenda brown sugar and then it's all the baking boxes oils and then the flowers are used less often like cake flour and bread flour down below is all of mom's cokes jimmy's bottled water bottled sparkling water this is one thing that i'll tell you about when i sit <laughs> and then i showed you the two um, big baskets that stack. Let me get the camera in there so the light can adjust. Um, one has all of the different flowers in it and the other one has all the different sugars in it like erythrol and keto friendly, friendly stuff. On the door we did tiny jars, potatoes, uh, meal kits, 
mom's shelf. Rice, rice aroni. There's one little quinoa cup, but that's her like rice, rice. Um, down here is all of the um, rice packets, brown rice, rice salads. Well, it's really quinoa salads, really. Down here is pastaroni, pasta, macaroni cheese, and down here is like the gluten-free area, except for those two. <laughs> What's gonna be the coffee bar? We have to create a new top. In here is just a one-shelf cabinet. So right now down below we have extra coffee, hot chocolate stuff, the honey, the syrups. The top is gonna go coffee mugs, but I need to create a second shelf up there. Um, and right now all of our spices are there the basket on the floor um i was it's really it's really quite a funny story but not really um i was sitting there and i was frustrated because all the chips wouldn't fit in the baskets the way i wanted to and then the baskets that i wanted to use for the chips wouldn't fit all on top and then i realized i don't ever really ever have those little bags of snacks that's not something that i keep all the time i usually just buy them for road trips but we had them because they replaced um, something that mom bought at Walmart grocery pickup. So I was like, Jimmy, let's just put these down on the floor. Like we, we I'm not gonna organize my whole closet to make room for something I hardly ever have. Does that make sense? Okay. When we add the additional shelf, I have the baskets for the spices to go in. They're overflow spices, I've mentioned them before. They're ones that I used to fill my spice jars. So I don't need to access them often. What's going to happen is the ramen is gonna come down to the soup shelf the unopened snacks will move over and the spices will go in the top corner. And then I will create um, a little, I'll have another, a little bit more room to loosen things up a little bit, basically. So once we do all that, I'm gonna share all that with you, but it won't be for a while. So I kind of wanted to conclude this little series here so that you guys weren't like hanging, what's happening with Jerry's, like hanging in the balance. What's happening with Jerry's pantry? <laughs> so um, that's it. Um, for now and I will 100% bring you along when we finish and show you the completed kitchen project. I also got new um, new rugs and we're doing some new things on the counters, uh, redecorating counters, so I will bring you along with all of that as well. And as always, you guys take care, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye!